you know, I know the depth chart did come out. Is that something, you know, do you even worry about that stuff or is it just not a big deal? It's just kind of Nah, I mean, definitely not. You know, with the depth chart, I mean, it always, it's nice and you don't have some things set just as far as like how we distribute reps, but at the same time, you know, we're all out there working hard and um, to say the least, you can look at our stats to know that a lot of people are going to catch the ball and a lot of people are going to make plays. Therefore, I mean, you know, even the young guys that are on the depth chart, you know, I wouldn't be too worried about not necessarily getting those reps because I feel like as a receiving core, we kind of try and get everybody ready to play. We definitely, you know, want to have all wheels rolling as far as, you know, anybody gets tired next guy's in for sure. Well, things will be different with uh, Scott Frost as forward. He's not going to be down there on the sidelines with you guys anymore. It's a little bit different as adjustment for you, the team, and him. What are your thoughts on, on him up there in the booth? Ah, Frost, I know he's going to be great in the booth. I mean, you know, I'm definitely going to miss his Ross speeches on the sideline, you know. He's a great guy that gets you fired up, geeked up. But I'm, I'll be ready for, you know, whatever halftime stuff he has to say because, you know, he definitely comes down during that time to try and say a couple words to us, you know, as far as what the game plan is and what we're trying to accomplish. But, you know, it's definitely a great time for a lot of other guys to step in, you know. Coach Lubick, it's great to – it's going to be awesome to see what he does, you know, under the fire, you know, in the heat of the action. I don't know if things are like Duke over here, but um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how he does in the action. But – how does Coach Lubick compare to Scott? Coach um, Lubick, he's probably, I would say he's a little bit more analytical in a way, I guess. I mean, you know, he's kind of more like a physics guy, and I would definitely say, you know, Coach Frost has a lot more of, like, game experience, I would say. I mean, he played, you know, NFL football and played DB for a little bit. And, uh, you know, they both bring different aspects to the game, for sure. Could you say a few words about a team, uh, Nickel State? I know you're not going to compare them to Alabama. <laughs> well, Same I mean, part of the country. Roughly. To Alabama's respect, I don't think you can really pair a lot of teams to Alabama. But um, Nickel State, you know, definitely looking at their DBs a lot. Um, we're going to be physical like we always are, and we're definitely going to come off the ball with speed. And I know they kind of, you know, try and play off a little bit, and I think they'll probably play off a little bit on us just to, to respect, you know, the type of speed that we have, especially – you know, De'Anthony Thomas, B.J. Kelly, me, I, I like to say myself, uh, Josh Huff, all those guys out there, I feel like we bring a little bit of heat out there, so they're definitely going to have to be honest in their coverages for sure. And most people you know are going to say, no matter what the score is, people are going to say, this told us nothing about Oregon. Nickel State is such an inferior team. As a player, how, how do you react to the thought of those kind of guys? Well, I mean, we don't see any team as inferior. I mean, you know, we set a standard for ourselves, and... No matter who you put in front of us, whether it is, you know, Alabama, like you said, or Nickel State or Washington, whoever is out there to play against us, it's all about what we do and how we come out on Saturdays. And therefore, you know, the type of Saturday that we're going to have is a Saturday that's going to be spectacular, no matter what. Dara, we, we talked on media day about how excited you were for fall camp. How has your fall camp been? Oh, it's been awesome. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd like for it to always be awesome. This is my last one here at the University of Oregon, and I think, you know, it's definitely had its fresh air of memories. Uh, definitely had a few times to reflect, you know, count down my last days and be like, oh, this is my last double day, last single day, you know, last time I'm going to have to get up this early in the morning and things like that. And, you know, there's a lot of great, awesome memories and camaraderie that comes with things like fall camp. This game week probably couldn't come fast enough for you. Here we are just a few days away from Saturday, Nickel State. Uh, that's got to be exciting for you. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, you know, I feel like a lot of the guys are a little tired of smacking each other around. And, you know, we all want to try and stay healthy. And we're ready to, you know, debut what exactly we've been doing, you know, this whole spring and this fall. Which is? Maybe you can give us a little bit of a sneak peek. Well, I don't know if I can give you a sneak peek, but just know that we're going to come out fast, really fast. Speaking, so let's let's go down that road. How much has your game improved? Um, we always know that you can catch the ball, but have you? Are you faster this year? Are, are, is is the offense better for you? Do you know this offense better now that you're a senior? What what are some of the those intangibles that you bring? I mean, I feel like I definitely am thinking a lot faster for sure. You know, so much of what I had to learn was kind of a lot more outside of just the scheme of the offense and really understanding what it is to be a receiver and how that applies, you know, within any offense. So I feel like so much more is reacting to defenders and, you know, really dictating what I'm going to do to defenses myself. And I feel like a lot of what I was doing before was kind of just, you know, seeing where I fit into the offense and maybe overthinking a little things, you know, 
yeah. I know when I'm going to get the ball and when I'm not going to get the ball. Right. And I feel like to up my efficiency, I definitely had to improve on my technique and you know do everything full speed and definitely kind of gut it out a little bit more than I have in the past. So I think I'm a lot better shape than I've ever been before too. When Chip was here, um, he really emphasized blocking for receivers. Is this a good blocking core of receivers? Oh yeah, I mean, you look at guys like Josh Huff and Keenan Lowe, they're definitely one of the more physical guys on the field without a doubt. I mean, you can look at the tape and know that, you know, we're kind of bullies on the outside. Um, we definitely love the competition whenever, you know, DBs come out and they try and be physical because I feel like a lot of people think that there are a bunch of pretty boys out there. And, you know, everybody's got the towels and the wristbands and, you know, we go out there and we like to smack heads. We know a couple guys are going to come around and smack us back, but that's why you play the game. With the number three ranking to begin the year, a lot of players say it doesn't matter what scoreboard is what matters, but is there any added pressure? Do you do you think about the ranking? Do you look at that stuff as, as the games get nearer? Does that matter to you? Um, I'm a quote. Uh, a guy who used to coach here and he said pressure is what you feel when you don't know what you're doing and I don't feel pressure because I know what I'm doing and I feel like you know we've definitely been in this spot before and to change our mindset about how we've been doing things already it would be foolish I mean you know rankings only mean something you know once the season is over right. and I feel like you know however we start or things like that that's it's awesome for the fans you know to get a nice little glimpse into the future however you know what's going to make us earn that is what we do every single day week in and week out you excited to go back out on Austin stadium this saturday oh yeah i love the intensity of the crowd and there's nothing like that tunnel i'm definitely i'm counting down just for you know that moment because i only got so much of those left